Humanity has always been fascinated by the stars and we are at the, the cusp of the stage where uh, not just a few humans and governments but I think in a few decades we will actually have many folks going into space, building infrastructure in space uh, as well as even before that over the next two decades actually leveraging technology for benefit on Earth. Hi, uh, I am Aves Ahmed. I am the founder and CEO of Pixel Space Technologies. Uh, Pixel is a space technology company working uh, and building the world's first constellation of hyperspectral imaging satellites that enable us to see the world in a level of detail that has uh, hitherto been not possible. Um, we do that by building specialized cameras called hyperspectral cameras that look at uh, the entire electromagnetic spectrum in hundreds of wavelengths, enabling us to see things that are otherwise invisible to satellites in orbit today. So the story of Pixel starts in early 2019 uh, and in early 2019 my co-founder and I we were still in the final year of undergraduate studies in India studying at a university in Rajasthan almost in the middle of a desert. There had been a couple of experiences in college that led to Pixel. I was part of the student satellite team working with the Indian Space Agency that's where I learned how to build satellites in my first and second year and in my second and third year I was the founding member and engineering lead at Hyperloop India where we built India's first ever Hyperloop pod prototype and competed at the SpaceX Hyperloop pod competition finals, where we were one of the only 20 finalist teams out of 2,500 global applicants. We got to meet Elon Musk, we got to meet the rest of the SpaceX engineer. And so that was a very integral learning experience to build hardware technology that needs to work in, in harsh confines of vacuum temperature and so on. But while we were taking a tour of the SpaceX factory, that's when it clicked in my mind that I want to work in space technology for the rest of my life one way or the other came back and explored what was missing in, in the space and seemed like hyperspectral data was not something that was coming down from space even though um, NASA had proven that as a technology it was superior uh, to other types of data sets and so we said why not build and deploy it ourselves. The vision statement is very clear and straightforward. We want to build what we call a health monitor for the planet. To be able to detect problems that the planet is facing, to be able to monitor them as they grow or shrink or move around and be able to predict some things in advance so that we can take better care of our planet. Examples include being able to look at crop diseases or pest infestations even before symptoms actually start to show up so that we can reduce the amount of crop wastage that occurs uh, at the tune of trillions of dollars every year or being able to look at pollution levels in different cities and different areas and where those emittents are actually coming from so that ESG reporting cannot be uh, falsified in any way because you have this layer of truth or being able to look at uh, oil and gas leaks from both above ground and underground pipelines as well as being able to look at any of the offshore and onshore oil leaks or mineral exploration um, hazards that could be caused to the environment. So a variety of different use cases but the underlying principle is can we look at things that are causing a harm to the planet and then helping uh, provide organizations, governments with the necessary data set to combat that. I think I'm a little biased but it's probably the most exciting sector to be working with because I mean, humanity has always been fascinated by the stars and we are at the, the cusp of the stage where uh, not just a few humans and governments, but I think in a few decades we will actually have many folks going into space, building infrastructure in space, as well as even before that over the next two decades, actually leveraging technology for benefit on Earth. We've already seen how GPS has done it, how weather data has done it, but can satellite imagery do that? Can we bring communications to every corner of the planet? So the next two decades we will see a lot more of that, so very exciting uh, in the sense that you build something that goes to space, but is also something that is creating impact for everyone across the globe and then in the longer term actually you know looking at that base instinct that humanity has can we actually go to space can we actually expand and, and live and inhabit there which is a obviously a very, very exciting industry to be in.